Hello everyone, welcome to this video tutorial on Laplace and inverse Laplace transforms in MATLAB. So these are the learning outcomes of this video. After this video lecture, you will be able to perform Laplace transforms of a mathematical expressions and you can also perform inverse Laplace transforms of a, La a Laplace transforms. So what is Laplace transform? It is an integral transform that converts a function of a real variable that is t in a time domain or a time domain function to a function of a complex variable. So here we have this written here. So it is an integral transform that converts a function of a real variable that is uh, usually a function in a time domain to a function in a frequency domain or a complex variable s. Okay? So that is also called as a frequency domain variable or s domain or s plane. So the S, uh, Laplace transform of a function f of t is find using like uh, this integral equation. So this is the f of t. It is defined for all real numbers where t is greater than or equal to 0. Is a function f of s will get uh, transformed in the form of f of s which is unilateral transform defined by this equation. So we have to perform integration over 0 to infinity. Uh, of a function f of t into e to the power minus st with respect to dt. So, where yes, here is a complex frequency domain parameter. Okay. So, let us move. We will perf we are going to perform the transform Laplace transform of a this equation where this t is also called as a uh, independent variable and we will get this solution uh, of this uh, equation in the as a Laplace transform where yes is a uh, transform variable. So, t is a uh, please remember t is a independent variable and s is a transform variable transformation variable I will say. Okay. So, let us move to the MATLAB. We are going to perform a class transform. This is to clear the command window and clear all the variables stored in a workspace. So, we have to start with the sim, uh, defining the symbolic variables t and s. So, first I will write define symbolic variables variables I'll increase the font yes. So, define the symbolic variables s and t Okay. So, this uh, to define this symbolic variables you have to write sys that is the inbuilt command then you have to write t space s. So, this is how you can create the symbolic variables. Then next thing is we have to write the function of t. Yes. So, function of t is nothing but the what is your expression mathematical expression that was minus 12 star t plus 3.5 into t star exponential minus sorry this is star that is multiplication exponential 2 t 2 star t that is 2 multiplied by t plus 15 star exponential that is e to the power minus t okay so this is the expression we will once again again check it with the original 12t minus 12t minus 12t yes correct then 3.5t e to the power minus 2t 3.5t e to the power minus 2t plus 15e to the power minus t and we are going to get this transform like this so just perform a transform this is define define the function in time domain now perform the on the laplace transform okay so to perform the laplace transform use spaces here to differentiate somewhat yes so 
to perform the laplace transform i'll create laplace f laplace as a variable okay then then what you have to do you have to write or call laplace function that is inbuilt function in matlab you have to type laplace then your function of a t then you have to use the uh, you have to transform this time domain to the frequency domain okay so that's it you have to perform this three steps only and you have to run this okay so i'm running this so we'll get this f of t is f uh, 15 e to the power minus t it just has shifted or shuffled this element or this uh, segment of equation to the initially initial uh, function or it sh shuffled this terms of this equation so this is 15 e to the power minus t then we have minus 12 t here this is minus 12 t here and 3.5 it means 7 by 2 t into e to the power minus 2 t uh, e to the 7.5 7 by 2 into t to the power minus 2 t so this function is correct then we got this laplace transform just cross check this with our solution so this is 15 by s plus 1 this is 15 by s plus 1 then we have term this 3.5 s divided by s plus 2 bracket square so this is this is nothing but 3.5 s plus 2 bracket square minus 12 point sorry minus 12 by s square so this is how you can get the laplace transform then then uh, next thing is to perform perform the inverse laplace transform okay so uh, to perform the inverse laplace transform inverse laplace transform is nothing but performing a inverse laplace transform on this laplace equation or transformed equation to get the original equation so here we are going to perform the inverse laplace on this f lap so to perform this thing i'll create a function inverse lap is equal to you just have to type i laplace this is the function to perform this inverse laplace transform you have to call it it is an inbuilt function then we have to do it on f lap so this is f lap and we have to transform the function uh, from s domain to t domain so this is how you just have to run this thing and you will get the original equation which is pretty similar to this thing okay so you want to see the numerical function that is like this 15 e to the power minus t minus 12 t plus 3.5 t e to the power minus 2 t so this is how you can perform this uh, laplace and inverse laplace transforms in a matlab this was the short video so what is next so what is the application of this laplace transforms generally laplace transforms are used to solve the differential equations it is accepted in widely many fields so we know that laplace transform simplifies the given ld into the algebraic equations which can later be solved using standard algeb algebraic identities so in this uh, in next video we are going to see how to perform the laplace transform on the differential equations okay so thanks for watching this video if you like this video please share and subscribe to the channel